Welcome everybody, the purpose of this video is to see if I can melt a metal coin at 30 volts. In prior videos with this particular induction heater, which is the large one that I put together recently, I was unable to melt uh, metal at 30 volts. I could melt it easily at 60 volts, but not at 30 volts. The reason I could not melt it at 30 volts was because of significant amounts of voltage drop, because my power supply was only rated for 300 watts. This one here is rated for uh, 1,000 watts, and as you can see, there's no significant uh, voltage drop. And I'm getting very good heating. This is white hot, and the camera has readjusted so that it's possible to visualize the metal melting. What I'm showing here is what's being drawn, so it's a good amount of power. It's at almost 600 watts, and the voltage is holding steady. There's a little bit of discrepancy between the meter that I have there and the power supply value, but that's not important. So uh, let's uh, continue this and see what happens to the metal. Just seeing it melting right now. There it goes. forming this glob of iron. It's actually boiling. It looks like it is. It's really hot. There's a lot of heat hitting my hands while I'm making this uh, video. Let's check our current in amps. So there's actually a little bit of drop in current. Maybe because it's turning into a ball, so the actual size is relatively less. See more further dropping of power. Here's one that I did earlier, and that's pretty much what it looks like. Just a lot of metal. Thanks for watching.